In this time of economic turmoil and uncertainty, you need to toughen up yourself. You can strengthen up yourself internally by reading a book titled Tough Time Never Lasts But Tough People Do. Here in this video, we will be reviewing and learning some of the timeless principles to toughen up ourselves. So watch the video till the end, this might change your life for the better. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Del Carnizzi, writers of How to Win Friends and Influence People, had quoted that, quote, Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seems to be no hope at all, unquote. This is a fortnight statement about resilient people. Do you want to become a person who doesn't give up when the situation seems impossible to win? If the answer is yes, then this video is for you. We are going to review and discuss some of the time-tested principle of the book title Tough Time Never Lasts But Tough People Do. It is written by Robert S. Schuller. So hang around and enjoy the video. Before we go on any further, please click the like, share and the comment on the video. It is your like, share and the comment that give me the motivation to produce more of such video. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please click the subscribe button. Robert S. Schuller was an American television evangelist, pastor, motivation speaker and author. He was renowned for the weekly television program, Hours of Power. He has written many other inspirational books like Way to a Good Life, Your Future is Your Friend, Move Ahead with Possibility Thinking, Discover Your Possibility, It's Possible, Self-Love, You Can Be the Person You Want to Be, Self-Esteem, The New Reformation, The Be Happy Attitude, and the many other books. If you want a copy of this book, kindly click the link given in the description box below. The book, Tough Time Never Lasts, But Tough People Do, is an inspirational and a motivational book. It was published in the year 1983. Although the book was printed in the early 1980s, still, it is one of the most valuable books in this time of pandemic and the economic turmoil because of the closures of economic activity. The reason for the relevancy of this book is that it toughens up ourselves internally as we go through the book. If we are tough inside, then we can face any challenge in our life. As Newton Rock, the American football player had got it. Quote, when the going get tough, the tough get going, unquote. And definitely this book will certainly fortify you internally. The book is divided into three sections. Section one, titled, Tough Time Never Lasts, But Tough People Do. Begin with the story of some of the famous and not so famous personality who have struggled and overcome the difficulties in their life. The author narrate the spirit lifting tales of how he beloved the crystal castle with its many problems, roadblocks and the obstacles. The author also lay bare his tough early childhood. He described it so vividly and so perceptibly that you will feel the trouble and the pain in his childhood period as if it had happened in your life. Section 2 Here's how you can be tough too. Begins with the autopsy and the analysis of problem. The special characteristic of problem is that nobody is free from problem. A problem-free life is an illusion, a mirage in the desert. It is dangerously deceptive perception which can mislead, blind and distract. To pursue a problem-free life is to run after an elusive fantasy. It is a waste of mental and physical energy. Further, how to manage and overcome problems in a positive way has also been discussed in this book. What is leadership and the Ten Commandments of Possibility Thinking has also been discussed in this section. Section 3. Beginning is half done. is the most important and inspiring part of the book. Here you will find that the 26 letters of the English alphabet being turned into action word so that you may have the inspiration to take action on your current problem and come out a winner on the other side. This is the brief summary of the book. Now the reason 
why you should read this book are discussed below. Reason number one, it helps you to look at your problem in proper perspective. The author has listed some of the ways to look at your problem so that it doesn't overwhelm you. He listed some of the eternal truth of your problem. Some of the immutable truth of your problem are as follow. Truth number one, everybody has problem. A person with no problem can be found only in the graveyard. Truth number two, every problem has a limited time span. Most of the problem doesn't last more than a month or a year. Truth number three, every problem has positive possibility. As there is a saying that every cloud has silver lying. There is always something we can learn from the problem that can make our life better. Truth number four, you can choose what your problem can do to you. You have the power to run away or hide for the problem or you can choose to be brave and meet the problem head on. The second reason why you should read this book is the third principle of managing problem positively. The author has listed principle of managing and the overcoming the problem of our life positively. Here are some of the important principles. Number A. Don't underestimate. Most of the problem in our life never get solved because we tend to underestimate the seriousness of the problem. Further, we tend to underrate our potential to solve the problem. Thus, we need not underestimate a problem nor our power to cope with it. B. Don't exaggerate. There are people who are inclined to amplify their problem. We don't need to exaggerate it, but we need to look it in a proper perspective. C. Don't wait. Start acting. If we had a problem, we need to take action to solve the problem at hand as soon as possible. The sooner you take action, the earlier the problem will be solved. D. Don't aggravate. We have the power to make any problem better or worse. We do this by acting positively or negatively. Remember, nobody is defeated until he starts blaming somebody else. E. Illuminate. Illuminate your mind by learning new things. Get smart and get smarter by asking this question. Hey, is any person face my problem and how he overcome it? What really is my problem? F. Supplement. The author has written that every problem is loaded with possibility. When you can't eliminate the problem, channelize your problem into something useful. This is very useful because there are problems for which there are no solution. G. Insulate. You need to insulate yourself from negative thought and a bad habit. We need to change our habit into positive habit. The third reason is leadership. If we want to manage our problems successfully, we need to take a chance, charge and control. And how do we take control? We need to practice leadership. How can we practice leadership then? Leadership is the force that selects our dream and our goal. Leadership can be practiced in the following ways. A. Don't surrender leadership to outside forces. Never surrender leadership to forces such as lack of fund, property, or location. If you need more money or relocate your business, take charge and take control. The author has quoted, money flows to good idea. Good ideas spawn other good ideas. Dream inspire creativity in money management. Number B. Don't surrender leadership to fences. Fences are limited concepts like I don't have required education, I lack the required fun. It causes us to lower our goal with the result that we strive for and the active place that our capabilities. We need to believe in our abilities. Number C. Don't surrender leadership to your fantasy. We have a brilliant idea to solve our problem. Soon we reject it due to our negative fantasy. If you are one of this person, remember, if your dreams are bigger than most, if your ideas are more creative, there will be criticism. Number D. Surrender your leadership to God. Let faith in God be in control of every decision and every action. 
surrender yourself to God when you are looking at your life and the way it's had that. Ask yourself this question. Who am I? Why am I here? Where am I headed? The fourth reason is Ten Commandments of Possibility Thinking. In this part, the author has defined management as Management is the control of a resources in order to minimize waste and to maximize the development of latent possibilities. Further in this chapter, the writer has given ways to manage an idea through Ten Commandments of Possibility Thinking. Some of the commandments are given below. Number A. Never reject a possibility because you see something wrong with it. There is something wrong with every good idea. Isolate and neutralize the negative from the possibility and start working on that idea. Number B. Never reject an idea or a possibility because you won't get the credit. You need not worry about who gets the credit. Decision must never be made on ego need. They must be made on human need and the market pressure. Decide today. Would you rather satisfy your ego or enjoy the fruit of success? Number C. Never reject an idea because you don't have the money, manpower, muscle or months to achieve it. If you don't have them, you can get them. Spend enough time. Use enough energy, develop enough human resources, acquire enough financial capital, and you can do almost anything. Here we need to remember that, quote, Nothing is more difficult than to keep waiting, walking, plodding, and maintaining patience through dark time, but we must, unquote. Fifth reason is for the marvelous piece of philosophy entitled, Anyway. The philosophy read as follows. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motive. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will find false friend and true enemy. Succeed anyway. Honesty and the frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. The biggest people with the biggest idea can be shot down by smallest people with the smallest mind. Think big anyway. People favor underdog but follow only top dogs. Fight for some underdog anyway. What to spend your building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. Give the world the best you have. You will get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have got anyway. The sixth reason is alphabet for action. The people at the top of the ladder work harder than anybody else because they have gotten into the habit of working hard. To really succeed in life, all you have to do is get started and never quit. Here in this chapter, all the 26 letters of the English alphabet are transformed into action word such as A is for affirm, affirm that you can do, B is for believe that somehow, sometimes, somewhere, through someone's help, you can achieve your hard highest goal, C for commit, commit yourself to a dream, D dare to try to love, E is for educate, educate yourself, F Find the talent, the possibility, the time, the money, and the way. G. Forgive. A giving attitude is a secret to a successful living. H. For hope. Hope is holding on, praying on expectantly. Similarly, the remaining letters are transformed into action words. So, this book is a must read for all persons who are facing problems in this time of turmoil. Just read it. Most of your problem will be solved by acting on the principle given in this book. Just read it and enjoy your life. With that note, I will end this video. Thank you for watching the video.